what I go during the week, which is animal prints, that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you enjoy what I wear during the week, consider subscribing and let's get started. Don't forget to hit the bell when you subscribe. Let's get started. Good morning. So this week I decided that I am going to wear all animal prints and the print I've got on now is a leopard print I believe. So um, I've made this dress and also the scarf that goes with it. And you may see there's a white strip going all the way through my scarf and that is the border of the fabric I thought I'd just include it in my design just to make it a little bit different. So it's a scarf that wraps around my neck twice. I'll show you the back. And it's basically just a straight sheet knit dress and yeah, with long sleeves because you know I like my long sleeve and slightly ruched at the cuff area and I'm wearing my asymmetrical earrings and my necklace, my pendant. I'm going to be using this bag um, and I'm going to put it crossbody because I think it just makes it a bit more, more interesting for the outfit and have it crossbody then it's more or less focused on the dress. So yeah, it will look like this as I'm wearing it. I do like to wear that cross body. I mean, it adds another dimension, doesn't it, to whatever it is you're wearing. So and then I've got my ankle boots on. And that is my look for today. Another day. And no, you're not seeing the whole, not wearing the same outfit. This is a different top. Well, this is actually a top. Um, I have a lot, I bought lots and lots of fabric. So with that fabric, I made two tops and a dress, and this is one of the tops. And it's a black wing. And setting sleeve. So um, I am wearing a black choker, black gold choker, and a necklace. It's asymmetrical, so it's kind of gathered on one side and this side is not. I belted it in on my hip area and I put the belt to the side just to give it a bit of a juju, whatever that means. <laughs> and I'm wearing this skirt. Have you seen the shoes? Um, when I saw these shoes, it's like I've just got to get these pair of shoes just to wear with this outfit. Not this particular outfit, because to tell you the truth, I'd wear the shoes with pants, but I thought I'd just change it up for the change and wear it with this skirt. So I made this skirt, it's a six panel skirt made of satin fabric and it has a back vent. So yes, this is what I'm deciding to wear for today. And the bag I'm going to be wearing with it is this one. And it's decided to go for a much more baggy type of bag. It's quite, it's quite, um, how do you describe it? Oh, baggy is the wrong word. It's quite a, a full on bag, I suppose. And I've gone for a baby colour just to offset it just a little bit so I'm not too much in black and white. So that is what I'm wearing for today. Yes, I am wearing the scarf the second time, but I'm wearing it slightly different so it's a little bit looser around my neck. And I'm not wearing the dress, but it's the same pattern from the dress because this only comes to here, so it's a top. So um, that is how much I could get out the fabric that I purchased. It must be about five, six years ago that I bought this fabric and I just love the print. And yeah, I just got those three garments out of it. And um, yeah, I do wear the scarf with the back wing and set sleeve as well. So at some point I know I'll wear that. 
Um, so I can show you how that looks with the scarf and maybe wear it pants as well. So the pants I've actually made as well and I have worn these a few weeks ago as well. I need to stop saying as well. Okay, Colleen, got it. So it's a set in sleeve, long scarf, wrapped around my neck twice. It's a short top and my pants are high waisted and it complements the top in the way that it's not too much, it's just about the right amount and the scarf elongates the pattern within the pants so I'm not kind of cut in half like so. As you can see, you know, I've got animal print there and it's block of black. Put the scarf down and it just flows through. So that is the kind of effect I was looking for. Because I was playing around with it and it's like, no, I'm not happy with it. And when I threw the scarf on, yeah, it, it just told me, yeah, you've now got it. So I am wearing this bag or sporting <laughs> my bag. It's either this or the silver. You know I was wearing a silver all summer. So um, I'm going for this one. <laughs> and it just picks up with my silver earrings and I'm wearing my black pendant as well. So that is the outfit I'm wearing today. Another look today of oh, animal print. Yeah, I made the pants and also this top. Um, the top is, is it's a camisole and <laughs> these straps used to be on an old bra. I just thought, why not? Just go for it. So, um, yeah, so there's a little bit of refashioning <laughs> happening here. Um, but no, it's a cute little top, nothing special. It's just around my hip level and I belted it in, um, which I prefer. Um, would I wear it without the belts? Yes, I would. It depends on the mood rather than how I look. Because that plays important parts, doesn't it, when you're getting dressed. Sometimes it's a mood you're dressing rather than just your body shape, type, or whatever it is you see in the mirror. So, yeah. So it's just a cute little simple top and the pants you've seen before. Um, and yeah, I'm sporting my pockets. I've got my hands in the pockets. This is how I will be wearing it. The bag is going to be this bag, and the bag follows through with the buckle link and the hardware on the belt. It doesn't match the, um, it didn't come as a set, so to speak, um, but because it's got all this buckle detail on the bag, front and back, I've got these hardware and buckle details on there, so I thought this would be the best bag to go for, for this outfit, and I'm wearing my ankle boots. So this is my outfit for today. So it's a polar neck, um, also known as a turtleneck as well. Um, yeah, we call it a polar neck in England anyway. So I'm wearing a necklace and my asymmetrical earrings. And that's the only jewelry that I've got on for today. Yeah, happy. I'm happy with my look. See if you can glimpse my bra strap there. This is another outfit that made the top and also the pants. The top is a wearable twirl muslin sample. Um, I designed it and I pattern drafted it and I haven't worn it yet, so today's gonna be the first day I'm gonna be worn and I made it some time ago. But <laughs> there was just something about it I wasn't too sure. The, the design I love just come closer so I like I love the collar I love what I've done with the sleeves so all that has really worked out really well I'm going to show you the back of the 
controller, so the back of the controller is not attached. And I just squished it round to one side like so. So there's this kind of draping effect that's happening here. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the way I've drafted it. It's beautiful. I, I, I do love the design, it's gorgeous. And the opening for the sleeves as well. The sleeves are only coming to my elbow. And two different types of knits. And I chose to go with a lighter colour in this fabric to make the body of the top. And it just comes just my hip level is. And personally, I just think it is because the grey is a, it's, it's a good match to what's in this, but I think there's too much white. That's it's, it's, it's more of a washed out grey, I suppose. So when it's washed out, it's a bit more white rather than the grey undertones that is coming through. And yeah, and maybe I wasn't too happy with the shape, but I didn't have much fabric to work with in either case, <laughs> either with <laughs> this fabric or this one, it's just a small amount. Um, but I just had this cute top in my head that I knew I had to draft and make, and this is the result, so I'm totally happy with the design. And, and you're working with a limited amount of fabrics as well, so um, you just do the best you can, don't you? So yeah, really happy with it. And then, what happens is, I have my belt. <laughs> my cat's just there. <laughs> I think he wants to steal a show from me yet again. And um, so, and I said, like, well, what I'll do is I'll put a belt with it and see if that would make me happier. And he pushed him, yes, it did. So the belt just helps to bring it all together. So if you are feeling a little bit frustrated about, you know, items of garments not matching up, accessories are the key to bringing it all together. So, yeah. Once I put my grey belt on, I was a lot happier. And yeah, I was toying with it to have the buckle at the front, or should I have the buckle towards the back? I'm wearing it like this. And that's also an option, and I'm happy with that. And my bag is going to be this, this bag here. So, my see-through bag, and um, I'll show you my shoes in a minute, I've just got the heels and the, these shoes to see before. So yeah, that's my outfit for today. <laughs> oh Tyler, you really want to steal my show, don't you? You want to steal my thunder. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and a tip I want to share with you this week that if you are struggling with a particular item or garment and you just don't, you want to wear it but you're not sure that it's looking right, as an accessory. Different types of belts, thick belts, slim belts, you know, maybe even wear your top tucked in or tucked out or do the half tuck. So play around with the proportions of your garment, particularly if it's a top. And yeah, accessories can save the day. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. And I will see you in the next video.